You know what's even crazier than being in the oldest Chinatown in the world? G'day, welcome. I'll tell you something that's crazier. Being in the oldest Chinatown in the world on Chinese New Year's Eve. What a welcome, what a welcome. I'm telling you, it's busy out here. Now everyone thinks I'm famous. So this is it. It is absolutely packed. Uh, an estimate of a million people meant to be coming here. So Eve today, I'm gonna hold crowd with me. Here we roll. So, So see for yourself. Let's soak it up. Now, we weren't actually going to come tonight, but we made a last minute decision to come along, catch in the culture. We've already had food. We have full tummies. Check out the amount of people here. This is by far going to be the busiest event I have ever been to. It is in fact that Manila has the oldest Chinatown in the world, Bonondo. This is a spectacular event right here, right now. We're about two hours away from the new year. Now, we've talked about them. The snatches, they're lurking. We have everything in one bag. We're being extra safe. I've been in Chinatown in Bangkok and it was busy, but it was nothing like this. It's like a mosh pit. Now, I haven't bought my microphone because it'll overheat my camera because I'm going to be vlogging for hours. So, no microphone today. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud, but if it does, it's part of the experience. You're going to have to soak it up as one of the viewers. Coffee? Wow. So Jane's just proposed that we get a coffee, which sounds crazy because the lineup's gonna be ridiculous. But coffee is coffee. We rely on it heavily. It takes you through nights like this at a very high frame rate. Let's go get a damn coffee. She doesn't want a coffee anymore a minute later. There's really cars coming through here. Imagine beeping your horn and asking a million people to get out your way. No thanks bro. Got some ice cream there. A lot of work and effort going into all these decorations that we're seeing so far. Now in my opinion, the night time is where it's at. Daytime is good, but the sun's gonna be out, you're gonna be rushed, you're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be a bunch of things, but the nighttime vlog, this is prime content right here. Yeah. See, all the foreigners are so much taller than everyone else. It's always the main attraction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. My question here is did they need to pay to lease this little part? Because that's easy business right there, pulling up your stall in the middle of this crowd. eat when we get to Chinatown or worse again being like now nah, we won't go to the toilet we'll go to the toilet when we get to Chinatown the toilets must be a mess the lineup must be ridiculous
So we just came from over there. Currently, get out, mate. versus the news. I would never do this for a job. We need to look at some of this food, Jane. So these are the sort of foods we're looking at. Tea's here. What is it? Oh yeah, I know what it is. Hey guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want to buy it now. I'll have to carry it the whole night. Sorry, mate. on what looks like a road here and you can buy a lucky charms here still fuck whoa 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 he was going so fast hey mate what time what time are the fireworks Chinatown Bridge. Yeah. Yeah, but that's gonna be packed. Gentlemen, hello. Hello, hello. Go. Johnny Sins. Here we go. Back in the mall that we were filming in with Tony. Divisoria Market. 
check out that video. I'll tag it right on your screen now. But this is it. The truth is, this is essentially just a busy mall, like any regular busy mall now. You don't get that culture shock that you get when you're outdoors and you see the lanterns and stuff. So we're not gonna focus on too much filming here in this building while it's busy. We're gonna get back in the outdoors. outdoor food court not far from the mall this is where you get food if you want to I'm gonna get one of those lemon drinks these things are bloody awesome we're gonna get two of these very refreshing perfect for if you don't want a little journey on foot like we are today now that performance you saw the TV of straight down there he's performing down there I couldn't care less though really so we're powering onto the spot where we are going to get the best view for the fireworks. Everybody here probably has the same thing in mind. So it's going to be a competition on who can get there, who is bigger, who is stronger, and who can fight their way through the mosh pit. That's not how everyone thinks of it, that's how I'm thinking of it because that works to my advantage. Very, this smells bad. Yeah, nah, this isn't as tidy. Don't get me wrong, the food would be really good. Hey mate, hello. But the stench, the smell is very overwhelming. Welcome. Nah, all good, mate. All right, we're heading out of the busy. We're heading away from the crowds now, getting to this bloody bridge. <laughs> that dog will be flat out tonight. Look at him. He's got a million people to bark at. So we've now reached bridge territory. This is the new gathering. So which way is the bridge, Jane? This way. We're turning right here. You want? Subscribe, subscribe. So we gotta push through. feels pointless even filming right now because I've got no lighting I can't see a thing keep my stuff moving shout out to these guys they got the channel up on their phone all right thank you so it's currently 11 22 we've been waiting since about 11 o'clock for these fireworks I met a fan shout out to Damien if you're watching this video I forgot to give you a shout out in the moment 
but yeah, it's good to meet you, man. So that's like my first fan, especially here in the Philippines, that I've got to meet. Especially in such a busy area, makes it like a big thing. So super grateful for that. But we are here just watching drones fly around and tease us pretty much, because when you see a drone, you assume. So you see that there? So I see people up on that rooftop, up on their balconies. And they were up there about 15 minutes ago, and even they've given up. They've gone inside because the fireworks are taking forever. starting to lock up a bit it's like I just left a literal festival in pants we're officially out dudes we're back on the main road we are about to catch a joyride which is the motorbike service this is New Year's Eve tomorrow is New Year's Day it's gonna be sweet lots of culture lots of things to be filmed thanks for watching